start our workout for this evening. It's going to be a really one that focuses on our core, um, some upper body and some mobility uh, within our upper body as well. So really trying to get you guys nice and loose um, within the shoulders, just like we would be doing kind of in the pool, but getting some nice strokes within your shoulders coming down through your shoulders and really using your core through this workout. So really happy to be able to join you guys tonight and shout out to our coaches that have been jumping on with us on Thursday evenings, a lot of local um, high school and also club coaches joining. So we are excited. Thank you guys so much. And we're going to get started with our workout today. So if you are joining in or tuning in later to do this, you do not need any equipment at all. Um, a lot of our workouts actually just utilize open space. So having space around you and also a chair um, is helpful or a couch or a bench uh, would be helpful to be able to use as support or sitting down if you need to. So we are going to modify some of our exercises today for those that are sitting um, and also progress or move forward our exercises for those that are standing. So as always, we'd like to start off with a warm up, getting our body up and moving and getting our heart rate up to get us ready for the workout. So we are going to get started with our warm up in about 10 seconds. I'm gonna move my chair for this one. We are just gonna utilize the ground so we can stand right up. We are gonna get moving. Our first exercise is actually going to be within our warm up, 30 seconds of jogging in place. So all you need is yourself for this one. If you're seated, you can do some leg kind of right up here, high knees seated. If you are standing, we're gonna do 30 seconds of jogging in place. Here we go, in three, two, one, jog right in place. Try to be right on those toes, getting them nice and high. 30 seconds. Within the next kind of five to 10 seconds, start moving those arms. Here we go. We're going to go for another five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Lower those hands, lower those legs back. If you do have a couch or a chair next to you, make sure you position yourself in that area. If you're in your bedroom, you can even use your bed. Our next warm up exercise and movement is going to utilize that seated position. So if it's a chair or a table or a bench or your bed, make sure you have something to sit on that stable. I'm gonna grab my folding chair. Awesome, I'm gonna move my camera down a little bit. We are going to do some sit to stance. So in this position, you're actually going to move from a seated position to a standing. Come back down. You're going to go from a seated to a standing and come back down. When you are going from a stand position, we're actually going to throw in some cross punches. So we're going to go from a seated position to a standing, cross, cross, back down. That's one. We're gonna do 10 of these to warm up our upper body and our legs. So again, you can lean back or you can sit up on that chair. If I were to face this way, you'll see that I'm actually seated up right from here. I'm going from a seated position to up, cross, cross, back down, all right? We're going to do 10 of those and starting at five, four, three, two, one, nice and tall, seated to up, punch, punch, back down, one, up, punch, punch, back down, two, up, punch, punch, back down, up, punch, punch. Back down, nice job. Up, punch, punch, back down. We've got three more. Up, punch, punch, back down. Two more. Up, punch, punch, 
back down, last one, right up, punch, punch, back down. Awesome job, guys. That is our second warm up exercise to get us up and ready. Legs are feeling it, arms are feeling it. We're gonna go into trunk rotations. These can be seated as well. So if you're down on that chair, you're leaning back, put your arms out to your side. You're gonna go nice and easy, turning, holding this for about two seconds, coming back to the middle, going the other way. One, two, back to that middle. Trunk rotations. You can also do these standing up. I'll show both ways. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, warming up our back, our thoracic spine, really trying to get some mobility in our shoulders and our back. Really important for swimming. So we will do this from a seated position or standing if you wanna do that. Here we go, 30 seconds of thoracic spine or trunk rotations. Here we go in three, two, one, arms out, one. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Nice and easy, holding that stretch. Nice job, everyone. There you go. We're gonna hold it, here we go. For five, four, three, two, and one, shake it out, shake it out. Great job, everyone. We are going to start our workout today. It's going to be three rounds, three rounds and three different exercises in each round, all right? So when we go through one full round, we're gonna do that two more times and then head to our cool down. So that's gonna be our full workout today, so three rounds, three different exercises. Our first exercise is actually, you can do it from a seated position. I'm gonna show you standing up first. Move that chair out of the way. First one is going to be a nice wide stance with your feet. So not together and not super wide, but in a nice base. So if I were to draw a line, from my shoulders to my hips, all the way down to my legs and my feet, it would be in a nice line together. So in this position, you want to have a nice kind of bend in your knee. We're going to go into reaching to our toes. Right, take a step back. We're going to have your hands together. We're going to be chopping at our feet. Coming back up. Chopping at our feet. All right, so we are really trying to be able to keep our hands in that motion of like, just like if we were swimming and putting our hands right in front of us, keeping that motion in our upper body, but also being able to flex our kind of our midsection to our lower body. So coming into that position, we are going to be doing this 15 times, all right? 15, about seven on one side, six on the other and then we're gonna jump to the next exercise. So when you are ready, you can stand up. If you're in a seated position, you can do this in a chair as well. If I'm in a seated position, hands are gonna be up again. I'm gonna go as far as I can to my side and come back up. Far as I can to my other side and come back up. In my first example, I am actually going to show standing first and then in my second, Ground, I'll sit. So when you are ready, get into that motion of having your legs underneath you, right in that line of your shoulders, to your hips, to your legs. Hands are gonna be together. We're gonna be chopping at that ground. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hands up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
and 15. Awesome job, shake it out. We are going to jump into another exercise. On this exercise and movement, we're actually going to utilize a wall. So if you have a wall, if you're in your bedroom, if you're in your living room or even kitchen, you can utilize a wall over there. I'm gonna turn my camera around so you can watch me utilize the wall for the next exercise. So check out some space that you could use at home. Let me use that wall right behind me. We are gonna do some wall slides. And what this is working on for those that are continuing to get in the water and to swim is to working on that mobility in your shoulders and in your back. It really focuses on keeping those shoulder blades back when you're in the water. So with that exercise, again, find a wall. You're going to have back against that wall. You can go into an either standing up position or bent. Within this position, you're gonna have your hands above your head. You're gonna bend down and come right back up. Bend down with your arms. You wanna to try to keep the back of your arms and that back as close against the wall as possible. So when you're here, you can be in a standing position, hands up, down and right back up. So these wall slides should be able to help you always remind yourself that I should have my back, my shoulders, everything against that wall. If you see that you're coming forward off that wall, that just means that we need a little bit more practice strengthening those muscles and also finding that mobility within your shoulders. So we're going to do 15 wall slides, 15. So again, find that wall. Hands can be starting up over here. Even for me, you see that I could be challenged to get all my hands and my shoulders touching that wall. We're gonna go down for one, right back up. Down for two, right back up. Three, up. Four, up. Keep your hands and your shoulders against the wall. Down. Up, down, up, good, at seven, down, up, down, up, here we go, go for four more, down, up, down, up, two more, down, up, last one, down, and up. Awesome, shake it out, shake it out. These are really great exercises that you can do at home just by using a wall and really focusing on keeping your back and your shoulders pinned against that wall. So when you come up, you wanna try to keep that shoulders and those shoulder blades all against that wall and coming back down. All right, guys, we are going to jump into our next exercise right here next exercise, which we're going back to our T-spine rotations. So again, if you were standing doing these, drawing that line from your legs, from your shoulders all the way down to your legs, we're gonna be chopping to the sides of our legs. 15 of these, here we go everyone. In three, two, one, chopping. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Keep those hands together. Eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep that head up. And fifteen. Awesome. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right, you could probably guess it. Hop back onto that wall. We are back with our wall slides. Grab that wall. Again, standing up nice and tall. Shoulders and back should be against that wall. We're coming up overhead. Feet are against. Coming down for one and right back up. We are going to do 15 of these. 
15 wall slides. Here we go. In three, two, one. Go for it. Arms up, down, one. Up, down, two. Down, three. Keep those shoulder blades now back against that wall. Down, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice job, everyone. Nine. Ten. We got five more. Keep going. Good job. Nice and slow and controlled. We got two more right here. Last one all the way up. Hold it, hold it. Nice. Shake it out, shake it out. Again, really important to be able to have that positioning of your shoulder blades and your arms against that wall to come all the way up and all the way down. All right, everyone, we've got one more round of this, one more round. Let's switch it around. We are gonna go back to our T-spine rotation of chopping by our side. We're gonna start that in five seconds. I'm gonna show this time using and sitting the chair in the chair instead. So if you need to sit down and do this, that is totally fine. So again, in that seated position, we're gonna be chopping at our sides in three, two, one. From here, down, keep those arms right close to your ears. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Shake it out. Awesome job, everyone. Take that moment. Grab some water if you need it. I'm going to head back to my wall. Find that space on the wall. We've got one more round of our wall slides. One more round. All right, everyone, if you've already had some water, get back on that wall. We are going to hold that positioning, keep those shoulder blades back, keep those arms back. We wanna keep that mobility going up over our head and back down. Here we go in three, two, one, last round. Nice and tall, arms here and up. One, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got five more. 11, 12, three more, keep it up, 13, 14, last one, and 15, shake it out, shake it out, awesome job, grab some water, we are going to go into our cool down today, our cool down. Good short workout for today, but we really wanted to be able to focus within the mobility of our shoulders and of our upper body. We are going to do a cool down. 
our cool down today, after you grab some water and rest for a moment, we're gonna do some windmills to get some more of a deeper stretch and some chest expansions. So we're actually gonna start with some chest expansions to really open up our chest area to get a nice stretch in. This can be from a standing position or a seated. All right, I'm gonna show you from a standing position first. When you are ready, stand right up. We're actually going to start, I'm gonna show you this way. We're gonna actually stretch out our chest by pulling right back, right? So I'm sending my shoulders right back and then coming forward. Rolling my shoulders back and coming forward. We're gonna do seven more of those, all right? So right up, back, and come forward. Good. Six more. Back. Roll forward. Back. And roll forward. Good. Let's go three more. Back. And roll forward. Two more. Back. And roll forward. We've got one more. Roll it back. And roll it forward, shake out those arms. Good job. I always like to end with this for those that have been jumping on our workouts. I like to end with some deep breathing and really coming together and lowering our heart rate back down. So we're gonna do five of these together. We're gonna come up nice and wide. Breathe in. Hands come together and back out. That's one. So we're gonna come nice and up, breathe in. Hands come together and back out, breathe back out. That's two, three more. Hands up, breathe in. Hands together, breathe out. Good, two more, breathe in. Hands together. Last one right here, let's make it a good one, breathe in. Hands together and back out. Shake it out, everyone. Awesome job today. Again, those are some slow and controlled movements that are very important for when you're jumping into your swim training, whether that be in the water or out of the water. They're really strengthening our muscles within our upper body, increasing our flexibility and our mobility, right? So when we're doing those larger strokes coming across, you really want to strengthen those muscles and get those muscles really mobile so you can do those strokes without any problem and no injuries. So awesome job today, everyone. We are going to be back at it with Colin and the Mid-Maine Dolphins with Colby Gott next Thursday. We hope you tune in then. And as always, this will be saved and on our YouTube channel for you to check out later. We hope to see you guys soon. Definitely keep up the good work and take care of yourself. Great job today, everyone.